Hi, I'm Kellyanne. If you are new to leasing or just wish to get a better idea on how the process of leasing works as a supplier, stay tuned for the next 10 minutes. During this time, we will provide you with a step-by-step -step introduction on how to offer leasing to your prospects. I'm a supplier. How does leasing work? Your 10 minute guide to becoming an expert in leasing. Step one, ensure you have a login to our advanced portal, advanced.lease. So step one, make sure you have a login to our advanced.lease portal. Here, you will be able to create a finance quote in less than a minute. There is a lease calculator where you can enter the capital cost and the lease term and it will automatically calculate the rental. There is also a reverse calculator. Just input a rental and advance will calculate the capital value based on the lease term. In our advance portal, you can also purpose new prospects and track all your completed agreements. It is quick and simple to use. Please speak to your account manager to get your login right and if required, they can show you how to use the system in minutes. Step two, always include a rental comparison. When you send out a quote, always include a lease rental figure as well. We can provide you with the wording to go on the quote, or you can use our portal that will produce a quote for you. When you break the capital cost down to a monthly figure, this will make your solution look so much more affordable. Step three, tell us about your prospect. Even early on in your sales process, give us a call or drop us an email with the name of your prospect, a rough guide to what they are buying and the capital value. We will then carry out a soft credit check. A soft credit check does not leave a footprint on your prospect's credit file. They will never know it has been done. It's no different to you seeing public domain information free of charge on company's house. Step four. Our internal review. Is your prospect credit worthy? Once we have the correct company name, we carry out an internal review of your prospect to see if we can get them credit cleared according to our criteria. This normally only takes a couple of minutes. In general terms, we can split companies into three categories. Often, we will know automatically if your prospect will be approved for credit based on their year's trading, net worth and profitability. The second category is where we will require further information. It could be their accounts are out of date and we require management figures or there is intercompany borrowing, which our underwriters will need an explanation for. If they are a startup business, we will need details on the directors and shareholders. Often, this information required is simple and will make sense to your prospect. Finally, for a small proportion of companies, we will quickly realise they will not get credit cleared. They may have county court judgments, a poor credit history or other failed companies. Even though this information is negative, it can save you a lot of time knowing this at the early stages of negotiations. Positive feedback and invaluable information. Our credit reference agency will normally have a lot of information on your prospect. However, salespeople often find some of this information invaluable. Yes, our first job is to tell you if we think your prospect will get a credit acceptance for leasing. However, we can also tell you how long they have been trading, their financial year end, number of employees, company net worth and borrowing. We can even tell you who the key directors are, their age and who owns the company. Every week we get lots of feedback from salespeople and suppliers we work with telling us how incredibly useful this information has been to them. We only speak to your prospect with your permission. As and when you are ready, we are more than happy to speak to your prospect if required. We are gentle and respectful with these conversations. We will always start with, we understand that you may be looking to buy some equipment and one of the options you are looking at is finance. Often, these conversations will take place prior to you winning the order as understandably, your prospect wants to know if they have a finance facility in place 
before placing an order. Step 5. Underwriting your prospect for credit. Suppliers often have different views on when to get a credit approval in place. It can be dependent on the type of equipment you are selling, as well as the value and length of the sales process. For example, the sales process for a £10,000 software transaction is very different to a quarter of a million pound office refurbishment. Underwriting is free to both you and your prospect and obtaining a credit acceptance does not obligate them to use us. Some suppliers wish to get a credit approval in place prior to obtaining commitment from their prospect, whilst others wait for a verbal or written order before proceeding. Often, as a leasing or finance option has been discussed by this time, suppliers wait for their contact to ask for a credit clearance to be put in place. This can be highly valuable information to you because, in effect, your contact is giving you a massive buying signal. Step 6. Sending out lease documentation. Once we have a credit acceptance in place, we will then send out the finance documentation via email. Many of our funders use electronic signature, which really speeds up the process. Nowadays, only a few of our underwriters require hard copy documents sent via the post. We communicate with your prospect to confirm they have received the agreement and contact you as soon as it has been sent back to us. Step 7. Invoice instructions. Step 7. Once we have the signed document, we then email invoice instructions explaining who and how to invoice. This is one of the only real differences between leasing and cash sales. With leasing, you are in effect selling the equipment to a leasing company, not your client. Step 8. Delivery and proof of delivery. We will need your invoice, serial numbers and proof that delivery has taken place. This is a simple document that says your client has received the equipment and is happy for you to be paid in full. Step 9. Payout to you. Once we have all that, our funder will pay you directly via bank transfer within 24 to 48 hours. And finally, step 10. Looking after your client. What happens after the agreement has been activated and you have been paid? Well, we data load the start date, end date, rental, capital value and all other important information onto our portal for both you and your client to see. We understand and respect confidentiality and the implications of GDPR regulations, so what you see will be different to what your client can view. Step 10. Looking after your client. In addition, a welcome pack is sent to your client with all this information along with a VAT schedule if appropriate. The client will then make their regular repayments by direct debit directly to our funder for the duration of the agreement. Customer care is highly important to us. Not only do we have the systems and processes in place to look after them, but we also respect they are your clients, you have introduced them to us, and you have trusted us to look after them. A quick and simple process. Hundreds of thousands of lease transactions are carried out every year in the UK. The process that all leasing companies like us use is similar. It is designed to be a quick sales aid tool. Quick, simple and efficient. There are anomalies. Things do go wrong. But overall, leasing and asset finance adds value to both you, the supplier and your client. Let's just take a quick recap of the 10 steps involved. Step 1. Use our advanced portal. It's free and simple to use. Step 2. Include a rental comparison when quoting your prospect. Step 3. Provide us details on your prospect. We then carry out an internal review, underwrite your prospect, then send out and chase back the rental agreement. Step 7, 8 and 9. We email you instructions on who to invoice, request confirmation you have made delivery 
and then have you paid within 48 hours. Ultimately, our focus now is to provide great customer care to your clients. Thank you for listening. It may be that you have further questions. If so, please call your account manager who will be more than happy to help out. Also, please take a look at our video on our 12 top tips to leasing. This offers some great advice on how to use leasing in your sales process to help you sell more product, increase margins and retain more clients.